Hello and welcome to theairwheel.com. We're going to take a look at the X series here. So this applies for the X3, the X5 and the X6 model. I'm going to open it up and show you what you can expect and also we're going to go through a brief introduction of how you can get started. So when your X3 arrives, it should arrive looking something like this. Carefully open the packaging. Either use some scissors or a Stanley knife just to carefully pierce the film around the edge. And then open the product up. Within the package you can expect to receive two stabilizer wheels, a charging unit, an auxiliary safety belt strap, which is great for learning. And of course, the X3 model itself. So, once you have the model, take off the wrapping and check your unit. The pedals should fold down like so. And also, on top of the unit, you have your power button, your four LED lights, and also the charging point. So, simply turn the unit on, the gyro will begin to operate. On top of the unit I have four LED lights showing that I'm on full battery, which means I'm ready to go. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to use your stabiliser wheels. Clip it in underneath. Replace the top plate and then just tighten the screw. And then simply repeat for the other side. So, once you've tightened up the stabiliser wheels, you can fold down both the pedals and turn the unit on. So with the stabilisers down, we now suggest that you take your auxiliary safety strap, unclip it and just run it through the handle and clip it back on. Now the great thing about this thing is that A, it makes sure that the unit can't fall over or go anywhere and B, it just gives you something central to hold on to when you're first learning to to use the unit. Now what we recommend is that you either hold on to a wall or you have a friend hold on to you when you first get onto the unit but essentially you just want to stand on the unit with the stabilizers wheels and just get comfortable being on it. As you can see it can rock slightly to the, each side simply because the stabilizer wheel units hang just above the ground on each side so that you only use them when you need to. Now what you should do is just spend a little bit of time getting comfortable on the unit. When you first step on it's quite easy to, to try and want to balance it yourself and try and do this sort of hula hooping motion. But the most important thing to do is just relax. Now the unit is keeping itself upright on the forwards and backwards axis so I shouldn't have to balance it that way. The only way I would normally have to balance it is on the left and right axis but that's what the stabilizers are doing. So the most important thing right now is just to stand on it normally. even. Evenly distribute your weight between your left and right legs and just try and stand still, hold on to the strap in the middle and just get used to gently pushing down on your toes to go forward slightly 
and then relax and go back onto your heels slightly to go backwards. Now that's just giving you an idea of what it is to control the unit and the gyro forwards and backwards, knowing full well that each time if I go left or right slightly, the stabilizers are going to keep me upright. Now what we suggest is that you just take a little bit of time getting used to the unit now. As we said before, get used to putting your weight forwards to go forwards and then putting your weight into your heels to go backwards. It's very subtle movements each time and we don't suggest you worry about turning left or right right now. Just get used to being on the unit, just get used to understanding how the gyro works with it. Holding onto the strap to keep yourself centred and balanced and that's the best way that you can just get used to the motion of the unit. When you are ready to start turning, what we suggest you do with the stabiliser wheels is just put your weight slightly onto each side that you'd like to turn to. So if you want to turn to the right, just slightly introduce your weight onto the right hand side and it will subtly start to move that way. Obviously with the stabiliser wheels, it won't allow you to go all the way because that's the whole point of them. They're just aiding you in the learning process. But the same thing applies if you want to go to the left. Put your weight onto the left hand stabiliser wheel, lean slightly forwards and take yourself to the left. That's at least giving you an introduction and an idea of how the unit can go forwards, backwards, left and right. Now when you're ready, we suggest that you take a little bit of time to get used to it with the stabilisers. But once you are comfortable with that and you are confident with it, you can do away with them. Now, back to just using the strap. Now what we suggest here is again that you start off either leaning up against a wall or holding the hand of a friend. What often helps as well if you can have a friend behind you just holding you at the waist to give you an idea of keeping you stable as the stabilizers did and letting go of you as and when is necessary. When you do get going, it's important to remember that momentum is your friend. So you're not gonna be able to just stand on this unit still and not fall left or right. It's much like a push bike. If you have your hands on the handlebar and your feet on the pedals and you're not moving anywhere, you will fall over left or right. However, if you're moving forwards and you have momentum, then you also have balance. So the same thing applies when you want to get started with the air wheel. When you're using the strap, you can keep hold of the strap if you want, either in two hands or one hand. Hold on to something, whether it be a friend or a wall, and get yourself on the unit. Once you're on the unit, that's where you need to start that forward momentum straight away by presenting your body forwards. Put your weight into your toes and don't be afraid to get a little bit of speed to get started because that really will help you. Now when you are ready to start turning, the key point with that is simply present your body in the direction that you want to turn. So if you want to turn left, you'll present your chest and your body to the left and vice versa if you want to do it to the right. If you want to start turning tighter, you can really start playing with the angle that you kind of lean your hips and your body into it. But it literally just takes practice. With everyone, they learn at different paces. We do say everyone can pick these things up in a day if you're constantly practicing, and that will go for anybody. But the key thing is to approach it with confidence and to just keep going at it and keep practicing. So, the same thing applies. If I want to go forwards, then I'm going to need my momentum and my weight in my toes to keep the unit going forwards. And when I'm ready to turn, I'll put my weight onto that left-hand side, or if I'm turning right, onto the right-hand side, and present my body in that direction. With the strap, again, I can hold it in one or two hands, so that if I ever do come off, I can just hold the unit. There's no problem. If it comes off the ground, it will simply go into safety mode, and it will just cut the power, like so. So, I can step on the unit and that's when I can start to turn. As you can see, you can turn super tight with these units. And you're in complete control when you want to stop your turn, even if you want to step off and turn with your foot off. And the same thing applies if you want to go to the right. So that's an introduction to the air wheel. Obviously we're showing it quite quickly here and everybody does learn at different paces, but just keep at it, keep practicing and you'll get it in no time.